Brothers and sisters, my name is Sunny Sun. I don't have amazing stepping stone story like Ray. <laughs> <laughs> However, I want to share my immigration life and life in St. Faith. I came from Taiwan. My father is a church minister there. So I was born in his church college house and grew up in church till I left home to university. So I love church as I feel church is my home and I love singing hymns. Taiwan size is similar to Vancouver Island, but cloudy with 25 million population. Can you imagine that? I love space and big trees. So I start to look for a country, still tech immigrant, and I found Canada. Canada, the name, is very similar to Bible's Canaan, but with an actual D. Canaan is God's promised land with milk and honey to Israel people. Sounds good, so I choose Canada. <laughs> I came to Canada in 1996. I trust God will also guide me and feed me. Light away, he walks through the Israel people from the desert to their promised land. According to the Bible, Exodus chapter 16, God daily feeds them with quail in the evening and manna in the morning. God order, order each people only take their daily portion and each one only gather as much as he need. My case is similar, not abundant, but just enough. As a new immigrant, I need to find a job that can provide me secure income. I guess every company should need at least one accountant. So I start to study CPA accounting course. I ask God to help me find a stable job. However, when arriving in Canada, I was, only, I, I, I was already 31 years old with a strong Taiwanese English accent and no Canadian working experience, it's hard to get a decent job. Finally, I found a job in a retirement community at White Rock. I got a job. After working and studying for four years, in year 20, 2001, at age 35, I received my CPA CGA designation. So I decided to open my public practice tax firm Original in North Surrey, however, very amazing. God used a very interesting way to relocate my firm to Richmond. So I moved to Vancouver. Language used to be my job seeking barrier, but after public practice, now become my strength as I am bilingual. Client from Asia, like Taiwan, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, and even Philippines. Clients keep coming to my firm like fish swimming in. God gave me more than I can ask or imagine. Originally, I only asked for a job, but God gave me a tax firm that provide night job. About St. Faith, I once went to Vancouver Taiwanese church, but don't know how. I don't feel home. Till about in 2005, one day I walked into St. Faith. I was touched by the hymn. Music is so beautiful here. And sometimes you will get wet eyes when God's Spirit touch your heart. Trust me, if you have wet eyes, you are not the only one. In the Bible, Acts chapter 20, it's more blessed to give than to receive. When I was younger, I don't quite understand this meaning because when you give, don't you lose something? So why Jesus say, it's more blessed to give than to receive. As I become more mature, I finally understand simply to say, when you have abundant, so you can give, therefore, the giver is more blessed. One day I went to the movie, 
I stayed and went to the movie. And I hear a slogan from the Scotia Bank, you are richer than you think. Have you heard that? <laughs> Counting our blessings, and we will find we are richer than we think. So we can give and do good. Do good. In our church, as I see our senior member, like Jinian or Pam, and many others, they take care of the same face, just like taking care of their own home. Their stewardship spirit become my role model. Even with busy tax work, and usually I still work six days a week, I still will try to be, devote more time to help and to make this church become the salt and the light of the community. As long as St. Faith exists, every Sunday there will be a new one coming, a soul seeking for understanding, seeking for love, and seeking for our true God. Hope our church will be here forever, so God will say, good job, St. Faith. Thank you.